I done a presentation on the falling man by Richard Drew. This photo was taken on September 11, 2001 by Richard Drew, who was an Associated Press photojournalist. Richard Drew was on the job as a photojournalist and had taken an express subway from Times Square to Chamber Street to get to where the World Trade Center was to capture everything that was happening after the planes had crashed into both of the towers. Him and an EMT noticed workers around 200 people jumping out of the upper floors of the North Tower to escape the fire and smoke. And he instinctively started capturing with his camera a burst of photos of one man falling. Many were unsure about the identity of this man, but others have identified him as a 43-year-old man named Jonathan Bradley, who was working as a sound engineer at the time at Windows on the World. This photo was taken during one of the deadliest terror attacks in the world, the day when four U.S. planes were hijacked by terrorists and where 2,977 people lost their lives. Two of the planes being crashed in New York into the World Trade Center, both the North and the South Tower, one of them being crashed in Washington, D.C., into the Pentagon, and the last one crashing into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Everyone aboard on those four planes were killed, and many people who were in the World Trade Center and around it and in the Pentagon lost their lives due to the crash and the collapse, and many faced serious injuries. The time in which the photo was taken had an influence in the subject matter being captured that day. Many of the photos we remember from 9-11 are photos of disaster and photos of people in distress. With this particular image, the subject matter being a man falling, represents a terrifying sight that was seen multiple times after the plane crash and also a devastating moment of time in history that for years would never be forgotten and always remembered. The following man was published in several newspapers on the day after the attacks, including the New York Times. The photo only appeared once in the Times because of a lot of disapproving opinions on the photo. Many readers suggested that the image exported an unknown man's death and the tragic fate of all those who fell from the Twin Towers on 9-11. Six years later, the photograph appeared on page one of the New York Times book review. This particular photo that is now called The Falling Man, in which shows a man falling head first in an air-like form, was not the only photo he captured that day. Drew had taken a series of photos of the man coming down, with eight to nine frames of the man falling in different forms. But he chose this one because of how the man dissects between the two towers and how the symmetry of the subject catches your eye. Drew's main goal for the photograph at the time of the attacks was to just do his job as a photojournalist and capture and record history. In an interview with Times, he explains how he doesn't regret taking the photo and he explains further that it is probably the only photo from that day that shows someone dying. He believes that this image was not widely published because of how quiet the picture is and how the picture being quiet created such a big shock and personal impact to those who viewed it. From the same era compared to other photos, the subject matter in The Falling Man does not capture blood or violence. It is a quiet image while showing someone dying. Other photos of history pertaining to disasters or to conflict captured in this era show visibly the destruction, the violence, and the terror. Similarly compared to other photos, it captures a moment of history through digital photography, in which all show real-world situations in order to provide mass media and mass communication to society. As a photojournalist, his motives are to capture major events such as 9-11 to document history. The following man is consistent with Richard Drew's user style. For example, in 1963, almost 55 years ago, Richard Drew was one of the few photographers that captured John F. Kennedy's assassination, in which at the time, photos dominantly black and white. Richard Drew had been a photojournalist for 40 years and has experienced the era as a transition from black and white photos to color photos to digital photos. When Richard Drew chose this photo, out of all the photos he took of the man, he described it as something many people can relate to, as some might have been in the same type of situation of having to make the choice the man made. It also gives viewers a deep thought of what if, as in, what if you were in that man's situation, what would you do? Would you have jumped? Would you have stayed in the building? The picture has the ability to give you emotions the man may have felt in that moment, and the ability to give you thoughts that the man may have been thinking. You maybe couldn't imagine yourself being in that situation, but at the end of the day, anything could happen. This photo brought me overwhelming feelings of grief and anxiety, thinking about the terror, stress, and sorrow that man felt. I also began to think about his family and his future. He didn't know that was the decision he was going to make that day when he woke up that morning. With that thought, it makes me appreciate each second of life I get to live and each second I get to spend time with my loved ones.